What's up, YouTube? This is gonna be our first vlog of 2024. If you're gonna start the journey off with us, you might as well hit the subscribe button and go through the whole journey with us. But let me break it down what we're finna do today. Right now, we just got some breakfast, so we finna head to the little project we got going. I'll show you that here in a minute. And then after that, we might go to Angelo. We gotta do some grocery shopping, go eat a nice little dinner, and y'all gonna go along with us. So we are pulling up to the destination of our little project right now. We're in the de demolishing, demolishing stage. So uh, that's all you're gonna see today. Let me hit you with a couple clips real quick. So bad, I wanna shoot, shoot, shoot. So we just got done dumping all that trash in the dump. Now we're finna go change my oil cause it's about time we need the oil change. Hence why I'm in some FRs. All right, so a lot of people don't know how to change the oil, but I'm finna break it down and show you how. First thing you wanna do is take off the cap to give it a nice little stream. Don't mind my dirty motor. Second thing you wanna do is go underneath the truck or if it's a car, you might just jack it up and there's gonna be a little boat, right? There. You gotta find the, the right socket. In this case, I have it right here, it's 16. Make sure you get a drip pan, you wanna throw this on the floor. If your truck was on recently, you might wanna let it cool down, not put your fingers in the way. But, see how it's in there? Just gonna twist it. See how black that is? That means it's time for an oil change. Like, way past due. So I did let it drip out to the pan. Now I'm leaving it in there just so that um, I can move it over because the oil filter is right there. So I need to move this over just a little bit so I put the boat back on. But let me go ahead and get it out. Oil filter should be hand tight, but as you can see, that's not. So let me go ahead and find another solution. That's where the filter goes. I successfully got it out. But it ain't always gonna go right. It's supposed to be hand tightened, you know, but I had to poke a hole and, and loosen it. Now all that's left to do is tighten this. Then you're gonna wanna find your filter and put it back. There's a new filter when you're about to put it back on. Did you get some oil? You just ring it, ring it with some oil. Just give it a little nice ring. And you just put it back in. And you just want to give it a little hand tightening right there. Oh, should it be good just with a little hand tighten. Your last final step is you're going to start putting oil inside of the motor. Remember that cap we took off? That's where the oil goes. If you're going to change your own oil, you might want to invest in a little funnel, but sometimes you got to work with what you got. It's a little cap of water bottle. Now let me go ahead and pour it. Here's your dipstick. What you're going to want to do is pull it out. Give it a nice little cleaning. Yeah. It's going to be clean to where there's nothing on there. And you want to stick it right back in. And then pull it out slowly. And as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see on there, it's about three quarters of the way. As you can tell, oil oh, should not be black. It should be a golden, little gold. So just gotta put that last quarter in. Should be ready to rock and roll. Our last and final important, important, important rule. You gotta put up your tools from where you got them from. Cause if not, you're gonna start missing tools. This last step right here is optional. But me, I put Lucas in my in my motor when I change my oil. Usually for a quart this big, I usually put half every time I change it. So for last time I changed it, I put half and this time I put the rest of it. And it basically just keeps old engines alive. But 
supposedly it helps so they're supposed to reduce or help your motor last for like 50 percent longer so we put it in you know us mexicans believe everything and the same as the oil you just put it right here just leave it in there like that as y'all seen my motor is dirty if y'all want to see me clean it or break down how or everything i use make a youtube video about it let me know in the comments so we just made it to angelo let me get a little fit check Evelyn. wow Evelyn is loving her free sample what is it granola and vanilla mm. so we just got done with half just the stuff we needed in bulk here at Sam's. And we finna go to HEB, finish our shopping, then we're gonna go eat dinner. We finally got done shopping for groceries, and now it's time to eat. And we're eating at no other than CC's Pizza. Sorry, Evelyn, I had to use your drink. But let me put you on the brownies. The brownies here are good. Let me tell you about them. But let me show you what we get. I get a lot. Mm, let me tell you, I got a little bit extra ranch because you know I love me some ranch. Even a little simple salad and some pizza. Evelyn has a whole pizza with ranch, salad, and she's choosing. Did she just drink that? Oh my goodness, I did not catch it, but she just drank it. And look what she do, eating it with a fork. Is it good, mama? Evelyn, is it good? You like it? I think she does. We just got done eating, and as I said, those brownies are good. And look, you took brownies? <laughs> <laughs> she shows up. Now we just gotta make one more stop at the store, and we're finna head right back to Big Lake. So it did get colder as we approached Lowe's, but look at this company. Carhartt, oh. Shit, he's staying warm all winter long, baby. So we made it home. That was the end of our journey today. Thank y'all for joining us. And we'll see y'all next time.